Freezer returning. Hmm, I wonder who's replacing Margin. Margin Boo, Margin Boo is being shafted once again. And I'm telling you right now, it's absolutely idiotic on Toei's part or whoever is deciding. Toriyama, if you've do, you done this, you, 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 that's a silly decision, mate. Let me tell you the problem I have with them replacing Margin. Why would you tease his entry, his, his new love for competition if he's not going to even compete? He even trained for 40 minutes to compete in this tournament of power and then you're telling me that he's going to be sleeping and they're going to have to replace him? When did he start having this new gimmick of him uh, sleeping for what? Apparently two months or so and you can't wake him. What the hell? Is this something that they introduced new in Super? They are kind of diminishing his the fans ability to invest in him. Yes, he was very very good when he when he was fighting in the preliminary tournament. Yes, but What's the point of him fighting there? Why would you tease? Why would you build him up if you're not going to make him compete in the main stage, in the main tournament? And that's just silly. I'm sorry, it's just so silly because of the fact that if they were to maybe put him aside or and have a, a decent plot point, a decent story point for him not to compete, that makes sense. But him not competing right now, just it makes no sense. Oh no, Dimzy, but he, he, they, they foreshadowed it in, in the open, in the ending for Boogie Back. Do, 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 do. No, who cares? That's just a visual. And even if they did foreshadow it, that's just a stupid level of foreshadowing. I'm not saying whether they foreshadowed it or they didn't. I'm saying that them doing it in the first place is just, it's just stupid. Absolutely stupid because look, Majin Buu is strong. He's very strong. If you want to compete in the tournament of power at the level of, okay, you're going to beat everyone, not comfortable but you have a very good chance you want your strongest members let me tell you who I think they should have put aside you have people like Roshi and Tien it's between them two but then again in the recent episode of Dragon Ball Super when Goku was recruiting Tien and Master Roshi why can't you recruit take one of them off the sidelines put them on the sidelines Roshi was then suddenly shown to be very very strong and he's stronger than Tien which is a bit what the hell is going on? Did he not retire from martial arts? A lot of the reasons was because of the fact that the new generation are just that damn good, Tien, Goku, etc. It makes very little sense for them to have Majin Buu off the sidelines and <sighs> Frieza taking Majin Buu space. I have no problem with Frieza's inclusion in this tournament, but like myself, like many others, we are absolutely annoyed and uh, gritting our teeth with Majin Buu being shafted once again. In the Universe 6 vs Universe 7 tournament between between the two gods, Champa and Beerus, he was sleeping. He failed the test. That was just stupid. Okay, that's fine. Maybe it's a little bit of a gag. But then but then we thought to ourselves, okay, cool. They put him in all the promotional material, Majin Buu, for this tournament. And they even made him uh, compete in the preliminaries. And then for him to, for him not to compete because of him sleeping. I'm sorry, Toei, this isn't funny. If you're trying to do this running gag and try to establish this running gag, it really is not funny. Now, in terms of motives, you could have Tien maybe take a step back due to the fact that in his village, he's like the only guy. He's the one who's protecting it. He's also uh, running his own little dojo. So yes, it makes sense, I guess. He needs to protect his students. And maybe he decided, oh, he's not as strong as he initially thought when he was unable to subdue Master Roshi with that talisman which made him demonic, not demonic but overpowered and berserk. Yes, Master Roshi could take a step back if he's like, oh, he just can't compete to the level he can uh, with, with the individuals that are involved in this tournament. Yes, take a step back. Krillin might take a step back because, um, I don't know. I really just don't know. They find a reason. He's, he's too bold. He's growing some hair. Someone has to, uh, someone has to look after Marin. But, I don't want Quillen to take a step back. It's between Roshi and Tien, but the point is, they chose Margin Buu. Why did they choose Margin Buu for? Um, it just grinds my gears. You have a character. You have a character who brings so much value. He brings so much resilience. He can be the shield for a lot of the for a lot of the individuals. He can be a shield to let's say 18, 17 Krillin who are a little bit more vulnerable. And Tien and Roshi who are more vulnerable to these high powered attacks. And it might pierce through. You might fatally supposedly um, look to damage Margin Buu, but he then he regenerates. So there could be that, and he could be so valuable for the to for the for this team. But no, they're squandering him. They're chucking him to the sidelines once more. 
it's not funny. It really isn't funny. I don't understand it. I just do not understand it. In terms of dynamics, would it not be better to have Frieza meet Majin Buu finally? They never met as well. They never interacted in the Resurrection of F arc. So if you put Majin Buu in the same team as Frieza, and as I said in my other video, or if it's out already, when you have Frieza interacting or potentially interacting with the characters in this team, and whether you like it or not, whether him being included annoys you or doesn't, he's going to be included. So let's just uh, deal with that. You want to see Frieza interact with Goku, Vegeta. Yeah, fair enough. Um, 17. Oh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, 17 and 18. That'll be interesting. Majin Buu. He named up Majin Buu. So why? Imagine he's surprised when he sees fat blubber of Majin Buu. It just... I'm sorry. They just... They dropped the ball on this one. But I can't say they dropped the ball because I don't know how this arc is going to unfold. If this tournament of power is a very shit arc, fine. Uh, it's not going to mean much. It's that Resurrection F. But if it's a really good arc, if it's written well, the blip on this arc is going to be, why wasn't Buu included? And that's just my question. Do you reckon that Majin Buu should have been included? And why? And if you can justify why he shouldn't be included, please let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and check out the other videos. You may now exit Dimsy's domain. Thank you, and good goodbye.